Hey guys, PC Mecca here. In the past couple of years, we've come across a large variety of gaming laptops. Some high-end ones with large cooling systems, as well as some budget laptops with a couple of vents and minimal heat sinks. No matter how good of a laptop we tested, all of them got hot when pushed to the limit. Some even to the point where you couldn't even rest your hand on them. If you're watching this video, chances are you're wondering why does your gaming laptop get so hot? If it's normal, and what to do to keep your laptop nice and cool. To answer these questions, let's first take a look at if it's normal for a gaming laptop to get really hot, to the point where you feel like you'll get burnt. The short answer to this question is yes. Gaming laptops are built to handle the stressful tasks of modern video games. But in handling those tasks, heat is always the byproduct. Especially within gaming laptops, components, and therefore the entire rig, get hot because they're all jammed close together within the laptop's chassis. A huge benefit of gaming desktops is their ability to space out the heat-producing components so that the heat output from one can dissipate and won't affect the other parts of the computer. Gaming desktops also have the added benefit of just being larger. More space means cool air has an easier time getting in and hot air out. Laptops have none of those benefits, which means they'll get hotter much faster. So when you're running some serious ray tracing, or even middle-of-the-road games for long periods of time, it is normal for gaming laptops to heat up. They're specifically designed for it. Of course, that then brings us to the major caveat of gaming laptops heating up, namely, overheating. How hot is too hot for a gaming laptop? The answer to that question unfortunately varies. Each component within a computer is designed to function within a set range of temperatures, Outside of that set range, the component will at best run at less than optimal capacity. At worst, it'll fail altogether. Being aware of the temperature range of your components will both allow you to get the best use from those components, as well as extend their lifespan within your computer. Every GPU, CPU, motherboard, and SSD is released with its own specific heat range. It isn't a bad idea to look up what's inside your laptop and jot down those numbers just so you have them. That being said, here are some generalities for specific components as a rule of thumb. GPUs are designed to function from 32 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 to 85 degrees Celsius. CPUs are built to function from 32 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 to 85 degrees Celsius. Motherboards run from 32 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 to 85 degrees Celsius. And finally, SSDs run anywhere from 32 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 to 70 degrees Celsius. Again, these numbers might vary drastically from what's inside your rig. They're generalities across the component as a whole. But if you're seeing temperatures above those generals, you're going to run into problems quickly. Because overheating quickly became a known issue for an increasing number of computer components, a software called thermal throttling was created to combat that heat. An overwhelming majority of components sold on the market today come with thermal throttling software pre-installed when you buy it. But what is thermal throttling and what does it do? Thermal throttling is a last-ditch safety feature designed to protect your components from overheating. When they reach the ceiling of their heat range, thermal throttling kicks in and lowers the clock speeds so that the component itself produces less heat. By lowering the clock speed, thermal throttling basically makes the component run slower. If you've ever had your FPS drop inexplicably mid-gaming session as your laptop runs hot, that was probably caused by thermal throttling. While thermal throttling is a necessary part of any modern gaming laptop and protects components and extends their lifespans, it can still be a pain if it cuts your FPS. The trick is to keep your laptop cool enough so that it doesn't have to run in the first place. There are many, many reasons that can add to or outright cause a laptop to overheat. Let's rapid fire run through some of the most common. First, you have ambient temperature. Ambient temperature plays a big role in laptop overheating. It sets the floor for where a component starts to heat up from. Therefore, the cooler the ambient temperature, the more room a fan has to try and cool down your laptop. The other thing to look out for is clogged vents or faulty fans. When was the last time you cleaned your computer's fans? computers pick up an inordinate amount of dust and debris just from sitting on your desk week after month after year. 
That subtle debris can clog your vents and therefore make your fans run less effectively and even break them outright if left untouched. Cleaning your vents and fans regularly or replacing your fans when it shows signs of failing, this includes rattling noises, laptop shutting down unexpectedly, the fan itself getting extremely hot, will allow your other components to work as they were intended and not overheat. Additionally, the placement of your laptop is also important. If you're the kind of laptop owner who takes their laptop to bed, uses it on the couch, or pretty much anywhere other than a table or desk, that type of usage can contribute to overheating. Most laptops have vents on the bottom, beneath the keyboard. They're intended to be used on hard surfaces to allow air in and out of those vents. Using a laptop on a blanket or bedsheet blocks those vents, and worse, lets tons of debris into your laptop, which can lead to faulty fans. The last big reason for overheating is simply failing hardware. Pretty much every component, from the battery to the motherboard, creates heat. While a certain level of heat is to be expected, as hardware begins to fail, it'll run less efficiently. That means that the hardware will work much harder to produce the same results, meaning they'll also produce a lot more heat. If you're monitoring your component's temperatures and a single component gets really hot when others don't, it might be at the end of its lifespan. By now, you're probably asking, what are some of the things I can do to help my laptop run cooler during gaming? The easiest, most effective ways to keep your laptop cool while gaming are the opposite of all the causes of overheating we just went over. Keeping your fans clean and in good repair, gaming on hard surfaces that allow airflow through your vents, keeping the ambient temperature low, and not overexerting your rig with heavy loads are the best ways to assure that your laptop doesn't overheat. If you've already tried all of these and your laptop is still getting hot during your gaming sessions, another industry standard solution to cooling gaming laptops are cooling pads. Cooling pads, or laptop coolers, are basically external fans that you set your laptop on top of. The fans point up into the vents on the bottom of your laptop so that cool air is constantly being pushed inside. Cooling pads are extremely effective at cooling your laptop because they function as an additional fan into your laptop's largest vents. Different brands promise different results, but a properly used cooling fan can cool your laptop down by about 10 degrees Celsius, which can be everything when it comes to not tripping thermal throttling. So if you're running into issues of FPS due to thermal throttling, cooling pads just might solve that issue. There are a ton of cooling pads on the market today, ranging from simple, single-fan pads that sit on your desk to laptop tables with built-in coolers. So, if you tried everything and your laptop is still overheating, a proper cooling pad should do the trick. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments section and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to share it with your friends. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to never miss a future upload.